Okay, welcome to Assault on Doom Rock Ultimate Edition. Uh, we are at the battle mode um, after spending your time in the adventure phase. We now enter the battle phase. Uh, so this will be my first battle phase. Uh, the rulebook is quite extensive. Um, it also has an example. Uh, there's one thing from the adventure phase that I want to uh, highlight, and that is uh, these uh, uh, icons uh, on the side. Um, there is page 22 of the rulebook uh, that explains these things. Uh, here, page 22. Uh, and they are um, item slots, um, so you have the armor for the art arm 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 armor slot, and the Hyrule token uh, icon is for the artifact. And uh, you have the one-handed and the two-handed uh, hand things, and the consumable uh, looks like uh, that, this, and you can uh, get them or not get them. Uh, that is basically how it works. So I aligned these together. Um, we also have the uh, the roguelite uh, expansion, so if you fulfill one of the three um, conditions then you can uh, exchange uh, an, an, an item from the item deck uh, with an, the, the, the the, the uber version of it. Uh, so use at least uh, three consumable items during the same round. Uh, I th um, you can swap these out. Uh, so you can mulligan uh, them. Because we don't have consumables. And uh, deal at least three overkill. Um, don't think that will that's going to happen. And gear up, have a single hero equipped with artifact, armor, weapon, and consumable. Uh, I put the artifact here uh, to the goon, uh, but uh, I don't have consumables, sadly. So uh, these uh, uh, are not uh, conditions that we uh, can uh, meet. So I draw three extras. And these go back into the uh, draw deck. <coughs> so we should focus on uh, use this. Uh, uh, what was the name for the token? Uh, uh, highest uh, threat. Uh, use highest threat during a battle to become the active hero for the drawn activation card instead of another hero. Uh, use stealth during a battle to activate the battle effect of from the battle sheet. And daredevils uh, at the end of the roll phase have no hero with a die on a trait card ability. Uh, so all my heroes have to um, not have a die on a trait card ability. And a uh, trait card ability is uh, this one. No. Sweet. That's the big uh, icon, so for mind-blowing, uh, there should not be a die here. Um, I think we can do that. Um, and the trait card ability for the, uh, for the goon. I think he has to draw a trait 
uh, from this trait deck. Uh, let's see how that works. Attributes and items. It starts with, with two attributes and can equip items just like a standard hero. He only has one ability, the maneuver. And he will gain ability cards from the level up abilities deck in the same way. So I'm not really sure how it, its traits work. Uh, these are traits, but can I, uh, it doesn't explain, can we, can we select one, or can we, I just, I think I'll just play it like, like, like so, um, but it's not specified in the rules. Now, uh, to set up the battle, um, Normally, you have this giant deck of enemies, uh, and there, for the first act, uh, you select only for the first act. So this is these cards. I think, yeah, that. Uh, but there is also uh, Act Zero. Uh, this is a tutorial, uh, so the, the Act One are uh, even even harder uh, than. Uh, so you can have like like skeletons and complicated stuff. Uh, but we have the tutorial uh, wolves. Uh, it's very simple. Um, AI. Uh, now this setup is for two heroes, the leftmost icon, so we have four minions. And so th this is the four minions. This will be the fifth minion for the for the three P. And this will be the fourth B minion, and there are two groups of minions together. Each minion has I'm not entirely sure, but I think they have <coughs> they have four HP. Now every uh, token has a yellow side and a red side. The red side means two, uh, two HP. Uh, so this would go here, this would go here, and they are grouped together, um, like so, and here you have the other two, that doesn't seem to be a boss, no, so we should be fine, but uh, here is uh, us, and, it's, and we are called Dinner, uh, so we are here, the exact uh, location doesn't really matter. Um, we also need uh, terrain stuff. <coughs> field the uh, delineations. Oh wait, uh, I did it incorrectly. Uh, these are minions. And this is bosses. Um, obviously, 
these shirts remain in the box. Doesn't really matter for the tutorial. Um, yeah, and these things you just place them to um, demark uh, the two fields, uh, ter uh, the two terrains. Uh, so terrain A, terrain B. We are in terrain A. Uh, now that's fields. Uh, terrain terrain is uh, also used. Uh, terrain is these discs. Uh, you just draw two terrains, one terrain here, one terrain here. And then you uh, flip them. And there are also terrain, terrain cards somewhere. Yeah, there's a terrain deck, and this is some modu module, uh, modular expansion. And you just look up what is uh, the matching thing. So it would be some kind of bush or tree. This looks like the one. And this is the other. Um, how does it work? Well, it. Um, Enables you to allocate dice there. Uh, so we can just place it here. Uh, for the tree, you may uh, move to this terrain. So uh, if you're here, uh, so this is what a terrain expansion looks like. Uh, you can move to the terrain. Uh, you cannot do that if you are surrounded, and you can throw uh, the acorn. You can deal two um, uh, exposure tokens to a uh, character. And I think it becomes a new group then if you throw it over here. Uh, so that is how it works. So this is a group 